What is going on y'all? As you can see, we've got some beautiful scenery behind us today. We we're back out on the beautiful Guadalupe River. Today we we're back out on the old fly craft, fly fishing raft as well. If y'all didn't see a few videos ago, me and my dad built up this really cool, I believe it's a 10 foot, I wanna say I'm not quite positive, but fly fishing boat and it is awesome. I um, just recently in the last trip, rainbow trout fishing here on the Guadalupe River, I caught a trout that I believe is the junior record, unofficial junior record, because we didn't, didn't get an official measurement on it. But So hopefully we're going back out with some good mojo. It's just gorgeous out here. You can't, can't have a bad day out here. You can go an entire eight mile float without catching a fish. And just, I mean, look at that scenery. It looks like something straight out of a movie but we get out here really early it just turned daylight so we're always the first people out here and real quick i'll show you all kind of the setup here so obviously we have the flycraft boat which i'll have this link below if you want to check out flycraft um it comes with so obviously the general frame then we got the two seats we got the paddles and we have a little lean bar up here got some storage things for our rod holders and then back here we bought a yeti that goes on in this cool storage thing we bought and um this Yeti's really cool. It's a big old upgrade, and it's actually got a sandwich tray in there, so it keeps our food up off the ice. Back here, we have a pump that came with our raft kit that, um, for emergencies, if we want to inflate it, you know, if something happened, we could always inflate it more, which is really nice. Then we have a loose waterproof bag here that's got all the GoPros, gear, um, fishing gear in it. And then over here, we have the anchor system, and we just put a little anchor. It's the same anchor I use in my little 10 foot mini plastic boat. And it works great. That's sort of the setup. We just we typically take all this stuff off, haul the boat down, then haul this down and strap it all down. And then she goes. And off we go. This is pretty cool. Hope y'all stick around for the adventure. Let's get after it. Okay, she got out on the river, the boat. It's just, it's beautiful out here, like I said, but early morning, got the little rooster tail. Could try and catch a fish. I think it's very possible that we could catch something nice today. So, we're gonna get after it, see if we can't catch something. We got about eight miles of river ahead of us, so. Real quick, I'll show you all the setup. So, I'm, I'm sure you kind of get the gist of it in the videos, but I've never really gone over it, so. It's just a light ultralight, any sort of light ultralight works. Um, I have some braid on there, you can use monofloor or anything. And then I have a little 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. These fish are real finicky rainbow trout and real smart. So the lighter leader, the better, or lighter color and everything. And then I just have on, very simple, little rooster tail. However, the only thing that I've done to change this rooster tail or modify it, I'd say, for rainbow trout fishing, is you can see I've replaced the treble hook for a little single hook with a tiny bar because these fish are very gentle that people call them gentle giants They're very gentle fish and treble hooks will rip their mouths up pretty good so switch it to a single hook it's much more game man like and great for the conservation of these fish got one sure it's not big at all you guys we got one on first rainbow of the day. It's very small, very small little stock rainbow. We're still gonna net it though, do it the humane way here. Always nice to get one in the first stretch. Let's <laughs> flip re ski in the net. Now, of course, we have to whip a hand here and get this guy out. First rainbow of the day there, beautiful little fish. Small guy, but take it, barely hooked. Get a release on. Off he goes. Not a big one, but it's the first of the day, so you can't complain. And you see, I saw a hook just pop straight out with a little single hook. That's why I do it. So it's always fun to catch one on the first stretch because it's kind of a kind of a sets the tune for a day. It's like the first golf shot on a range, the first pass of the Super Bowl game. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't even know what I'm saying. But. <laughs>
fish in this little pocket here. Just see if you can't pick something up. These trout aren't like your conventional fish. They, they live in these shallow, cold, quick moving pockets. It's actually quite impressive that they can swim in this. Got a really nice rainbow in here last time. So. Hopefully we can do the same. Got one, got one. I think it's good. Oh yeah, it's a great fish, great fish. It's great fish, it's trying to take dragon at camp. Where's it going? It's going up the stream. Take drag, man, like real so iced over it just can't take drag. Great fish here, great fishy, ladies and gents. Great rainbow. Great rainbow. Oh man, it's a great, great rainbow. Yeah! Yes, you guys. Yes. Leave him in the water here with the hand. Get this fish out. Look at that fish. Second rainbow of the day. Big improvement. <laughs> Good release on this guy. Thank you for hitting, buddy. Thank you. And off he goes. No harm done. Look at him. Look at him. Much better rainbow. Oh my gosh, guys. Man, I hope my GoPro caught that. That was a big rainbow trout that just blew up. That was insane. I haven't seen a rainbow trout blow up that, like, like, Almost look like more like a bass blow up, but those aren't bluegills, so I don't know what that could be if it's not a trout. Oh, there's two. Oh, it's a sucker fish. God, I thought I freaking got him. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I came off. Okay guys, that's unfortunate that we lost that fish, but that just happens happens with these single hooks. That's the trade-off you get. But um it was cool to hook that fish. It wasn't huge, it wasn't like a personal best, but it was three or four inches bigger than the last one. It was a big trout. But um it's interesting because you can see my eyes on my reel are freezing over. I didn't think it was freezing temperatures and I thought it was like 38 degrees, but very clearly it's freezing. But we gotta keep fishing. Hopefully, hopefully land a big fish like that today. Just I mean I just let him take drag and pull him. My drag one too tight, one too loose, and he just popped off. So unfortunate, but keep fishing. Okay, so we just made it to a spot that's a really cool, popular spot. It's a really deep hole, but a lot of times there's fishermen here, so we just kind of go through it, you know, let them fish it. Since we're on a boat, we get to fish the entire river. And since wade fishermen are walking to a spot, we like to be respectful, let them, you know, fish their, their few spots they can. We are gonna go ahead and keep moving down the river. It's pretty cold, my hands are a little cold, but um, we're gonna go Keep moving on it's just beautiful out here you can see there's a huge huge can i don't know what you call that canyon butte cliff i mean that's gotta be well over 100 feet tall i could see that being maybe 200 feet tall almost that's just crazy but that's here in south texas where we are uh, where we're fishing but missed that one fish in there and obviously we hooked the big one back there that came off um, but we're gonna keep going down the river we got a cool little shoot through here that's pretty deep and we've picked up some really nice rainbows down there before so keep going We're coming up on the, I believe it's actually eight story, seven or eight story house. I uh, you don't see too many homes like that. It's held up by the tiniest little wooden beams too. I wouldn't live there. You hear that? Gun. Good one, not huge, but good. You guys got a good, big rainbow on, big rainbow on. Oh, it's a great rainbow. 
Okay, he's coming in here. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Biggest rainbow of the day by far. Yes! Let's get him back in the water real quick. I haven't wet my hand in a while, so we'll wet the hand. There we go, you guys. Got him unhooked. So let me show you all this fish. There's something unique I noticed about this fish right when I landed it. Hopefully we don't lose him here. Look at his head. There's a big indent on his head. Almost looks like fishing line. I don't know what happened, but best rainbow of the day. It's good to release him. No harm done. That was weird. I've never seen a fish like that, but let's go. Thought I got hit back there. We were just saying we got to get on top of some fish. We've missed a few. We, it's been a little slow for the past while. And got him on that same rooster tail. We've caught, I've caught three rainbows so far. One of them was really good. And we we're about to go down a little step of the rapids here. And then we got a cool spot to fish up under this bridge that I caught my previous personal best. Not my current personal best, but my previous um, personal best rainbow trout under. It was a big trout, Tell probably 19 inches something. Yeah, I hope y'all uh, enjoy the ride here. These aren't, I know a lot of y'all are probably watching this and like, those aren't big rapids. For, for Texas and for the Guadalupe River, these are nice, nice little set of rapids here. We're gonna go ahead and get ready though, because there's a cool thing, eddy, a uh, big eddy right under this bridge, right after these rapids that we see a lot of big fish in, so. I'll tell you what, I think a lot of people when they hear the word Texas or, you know, the state Texas, think of like real flat terrain, you know, like Western deserty kind of scenes. We got some hills in Texas. <laughs> And we'll look at that beautiful big old rock cliff. We're in kind of a section we almost call the dead zone because it's really deep, really slow moving water. The water's actually almost moving back into the into the current. It's kind of a weird, weird situation. So it's hard. We typically just paddle through here, and then uh, we got some good looking rapids coming up. So here we go, going down Devil's Backbone. I'm, I'm cap captaining. I don't know how you say that. Captaining for this section. Got some fun rapids here. Yeah, look, there's a little ball going around. Get in it, Dad. Okay, going down the, I believe our last real set of rapids here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, we made it through. That was our last big set of rapids. We got a few little rapids, but. We are pretty close to done, but we got some really good spots coming up that we're gonna fish hard, fish strong. I think we're gonna catch fish. I still feel like there's one more, one or two, maybe maybe seven, I don't know, rainbow trout left for us. Um, it's been a beautiful day out here though. We caught three and two of them were really nice. That one that I caught um, about halfway through was a really great trout. So already a great day, but look at that. Can you beat the scenery out here? Awesome, let's get back to fishing. Still throwing the same ultralight. Same, can't really show, there you go. Same tiny little rooster tail and it's getting the job done. It's been a little bit slower today than the last few times we've been out here, but still just a great time and gonna keep fishing out there. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun going down the Guadalupe again. I know we've been making a lot of rainbow trout fishing videos and going down the Guadalupe videos recently, but that's just because there's only two or three months that you can really do that in Texas here. So we really like to take advantage of it. And um, it was such a blast. I believe I caught three rainbows, two of which were really nice size. And it was just so awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to, um, if you guys want to get into rainbow trout fishing, especially around here in the Guadalupe, feel free to ask me any questions um, down below in the comments. I will say I'm not at all a rainbow trout aficionado, but I do know a few simple things, especially when it comes to fishing for them um, with spinning gear, and ultralights and stuff like that. And um, I can tell you what, I love bass fishing. That's my favorite fish by far to catch, but uh, I really like rainbow trout fishing. It's really cool. We also picked up quite a few pieces of litter, some bags, styrofoam cups, gator raids, fishing line. So we will uh, throw that in the garbage can. There we go. Did our good deed as well. Thank y'all again so much and I will see you in the next fishing adventure. Until next time, peace out. And uh, by the way, we have a cool plan for next weekend, so make sure you stay tuned.